a warm greetings to all. Today we are going to see a concept from the course set of Python programming. From the first unit, we are going to see the concept of operators. So operator is nothing but a symbol which represents an operation performed on one or more operands. So operator is nothing but an arithmetic operation symbol. Okay. So the operand means it is the digit or quantity over which the operation is performed. Okay. So here you can see an expression 4 plus 5 which is equal to 9. So here from this expression we can get an idea that is the plus symbol is said to be the operator and the number or the digit 4 and 5 is said to be the operands. Okay. So now we, will, we are able to get the clear idea about operator. Okay. So plus symbol is the operator and which acts on the digit set to be 4 and 5 to get the result set to be 9. So in Python programming language, we have seven different type of operators. So among them, the topmost one is arithmetic operator. Second case, it is comparison operator or relational operator. Third, it is assignment operator. Fourth, logical operator. Fifth, bitwise operator. Sixth, membership operator. And finally, identity operator. Now let's see each of the operator in detail. The first and foremost operator which we are going to see is arithmetic operator. Okay, so as the name insists, the arithmetic operator performs the mathematical operations. Okay, as we know, the mathematical operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus operation, floor division, and exponent. Okay, so this is purely same as that of mathematical operation. Okay, so plus symbol. Minus symbol, multiplication, division, modulus, floor division, and exponent. The second operator is comparison operator, or it can also be said as relational operator. So, this comparison operator is used to compare values. Okay. So, here the resultant of this comparison operator is Boolean values. Okay. So, based upon the condition or based upon the operation performed, the result will be either true or either false okay so here the operators coming under this category are greater than less than equal to not equal to greater than or equal to and less than or equal to okay so this is also similar to that of the arithmetical calculations which we have already seen in the lower standards the third case is assignment operator okay so the assignment operator is nothing but equal to symbol okay so here the assignment operator is used to, to assign a value to a variable. Okay, so here in the second line, you can see the expression a is equal to 5. It is a simple assignment operation. Okay, so here the value 5 is assigned to the variable present next to the equal to symbol. Okay, so in the left hand side, you can see the variable name a and the value 5 is assigned to this. Okay, and here we can cut short the expression also okay so we can cut short the expression so in the third line you can see a plus equal to 5 so here what will be happening is the value 5 will be added to the value which is already available in the variable a okay so it is equivalent to a is equal to a plus 5 clear a plus equal to 5 is equivalent to a is equal to a plus 5 that is we are cut shorting the expression in the small okay so instead of writing a equal to a plus 5 we are reducing or we are cut shorting into a plus equal to 5 okay so now let's see the various operators coming under the assignment operator category so here you can see it is equal to that is this operator is used to assign the operand from the left hand side to the variable in the right hand side okay so second case plus equal to that is it is equivalent to c plus equal to a which is equivalent to c is equal to c plus a okay so similarly minus equal to then multiplication equal to division equal to then it is modulus equal to then double star double star implies it is exponential calculation okay exponential equal to and then the double forward slash it implies floor division okay so floor division equal to okay so these are the assignment operator or these are the operators coming under the assignment category. 
The fourth one it is logical operator. Okay, so here it is used to compare and evaluate the logical operation. Okay, so in the lower standards you would have studied the logical operation that is said to be and or and not. Okay, so and operation. So here if both the conditions are true, you will be getting the result. Okay, so you will be getting the correct result. Okay, so if if any one of the operand is false, you will not be getting the correct result. Okay, so similarly or in the or operator, any of the operand. Okay, if any of the operand is true, you will be getting the result. Okay, so next it is not. So not is nothing but the complement for the operand. Okay, so these are the four, uh, three different operators coming under the category logical operator. So five it is bitwise operator. So here the bitwise operator will be operating on the on the binary digits. Okay, so this operator will be operating on the binary digits or it will be operating on the binary operands. Okay, right. So whatever values we are writing in whole numbers, everything will be getting converted into binary and for the equivalent binary of the whole number which you have written, the operator will be acting on. Okay, so here you can see for example, we have taken two values 2 and 7. Okay, so 2, the digit 2, if you are writing the digit 2 in binary, it will be written as 1, 0 and similarly the digit 7 is written as 1, 1, 1 in binary. Okay, so based on that binary values, the below operation is being performed or below operation is being shown. Okay, so bitwise and so here if both the values are true, you will be getting the correct answer as 1. If any one of the value is uh, not same, then it will return the value as false, that is 0. Okay, so it is the result and shown here. Okay, so here you have bitwise and, bitwise or, bitwise not, bitwise XOR, bitwise right shift and bitwise left shift. Okay, so here the right shift and left shift will be shifting the digits based upon the operation or based upon the operator. Okay, right shift means the digit will be shifted right side, left shift, mean, left shift means the digit will be shifted left, left side or the digit will be shifted towards the left. Next, the fifth operator is membership operator. Okay, so membership operator is used to check whether an operate, operant is a membership of something or whether it is present in something. Okay, so here Mainly it is used to test whether a value or variable is found in a sequence. That is whether a value is found in string, list, tuple, set and dictionary. Okay. So if you need to find out any values present in these sequences, then you can use this membership operator. Okay. Right. So here we have two membership operators. One is to be in and the next one is to be not in. Okay. So in will be returning true if any value is found in the sequence. Okay, so in will be returning true if the value or variable is found in the sequence and not in will be returning true if the value is not present in the sequence. Okay, so we, from the name itself, we shall understand the operation or we can understand the uh, principle of working of that particular operator. Okay, so in and not in. So it's finally, the last operator is identity operator. Okay, so identity operator is used to find out the identical values or the identity of that particular operand present in the sequence. Okay, so here the operators are is and is not. Okay, so is and not, is not is the identity operators. Okay, so it is used to check whether the operands are identical or not. That is, if they are same or not. Okay, so if the operands are same, it will return true. If the operand, operands are different, it will uh, return false in case of ease. Okay. And the next concept is precedence of operator. Okay. Precedence of operator is nothing but the order of evaluation. Okay. How the evaluation will be taking place when we are pausing a, pausing a, when we are pausing a mathematical expression. Okay. So, here we are using a rule set to be PEMDAS. Okay, PEMDAS rule we will be using, right? So, PEMDAS stands for parenthesis, exponential, multiplication, division, addition and subtraction. Okay, so by using this acronym, or by using this particular uh, format, we can easily solve any type of 
expressions given to you. Okay, right. So here the highest preference is given to the parenthesis. Okay, so the values which are enclosed in the parenthesis will be taken first and they will be solved. Right. And in the expression, if the exponential value is there, okay. So if the parenthesis is there and if the exponential value is there, first preference will be given to the parenthesis and next the exponential will be taken into consideration. Okay. So next followingly, next multiplication, then division, then addition and subtraction. Likewise, the precedence of operator or the evaluation will be depending upon. Okay. So next we can see the operators which are involved in this precedence of operator. Okay. So here initially you will be having the parenthesis, then it will be exponential, then complements, then multiplication, division, then addition, subtraction, then right hand left shift, then bitwise and or not, then comparison operators, equality operators, assignment operators, logical not, logical and and logical or. Okay. So these are the operators which are associated with the precedence of operator. Okay. So I think you would have understand the concept. Thank you.